Good day everybody, this is Shalise. I also go by Lisi and I own Lisi's Bakery. Today I'm going to be playing around with some wafer paper and attempt at making my first ever hydrangea wafer paper flower. I hope you join me today and learn something as I learn. Start by using a pliers to form a loop with some floral wire. Then fold the loop 90 degrees to the side to form a little platform. I cut some extra wafer paper into small squares. Put the wire through the little square. This will be your flower's base. Wet the wafer paper very slightly with a brush. The brush should almost not even be wet. If you put too much water on, it will just shrivel up. Only dampen your wafer paper. Place your little hydrangea flower on top and then set aside to dry. I continued making lots more of these to make my hydrangea. I used a similar method for my butterflies. Cut some squares of wafer paper for your butterflies and make little loops for your floral wires. You can then wet your little square and stick the butterfly to it, placing the wire in between. I did this with all my butterflies and set them aside to dry. I then started covering my dummy cake with fondant. Roll out the fondant to about 3mm and start by covering the top of your dummy cake. You can wet the dummy cake with some water to make sure the fondant sticks to the cake. Continue to cover the sides of the dummy cake. Because this is not a real cake, I cheated a little bit and put the entire thing on its side. Use your fondant smoothers to smooth out the sides and then flip the whole thing the right way up. To decorate the cake itself, I decided to cover it with wafer paper. I tore wafer paper sheets into long strips and then wet my cake with a brush. Wetting the fondant makes it go sticky. The wafer paper then sticks to the cake. I layered the wafer paper to create a very rough ruffled look. Start at the top and work your way down, overlapping the pieces of wafer paper. You can use bigger and smaller pieces to get the type of effect that you like. Back to the hydrangea. I chose to start with three little flowers and expand with more flowers as I continue to try and form my hydrangea. I think it turned out quite alright and not too bad, but in future I would do it differently. I would use a styrofoam ball in the middle and place my flowers all around the ball to form my hydrangea. But this was the first try and I learned something valuable. Start decorating your cake by placing your flowers and butterflies all over. Just get a feel for it and decide where you want to place them. Finally my cake was done and I think it turned out so cute. I love the dainty little butterflies complemented by the flower. I hope you enjoyed learning something with me today. It's always more fun to learn with others. So share my video or subscribe to my channel. See you next time.